All right, quick uh, Tears Day update. T Y R apostrophe S, Tear. Um, the Sky Father, the Sky Deity, could be Sky Mother, does not have to be Sky Father. In fact, lately I'm hearing it's, it's more mother than father these days. It's more grandmother than mother. It's very grandmother. And when it is father, it's grandfathers with the grandmothers. So, um, and that's fitting. Um, so it's been a few days since I've, you know, posted anything or put up a video. I missed uh, Saturn Day, um, which I've been calling Berka's Day after the Bercano rune, the birch goddess. And, of course, Sunday, Soul's Day, the solar um, day of the week, if you will. And yesterday was Moon Day, Monday. Um, and so some, some of the reason for the, the gap is uh, just, uh, yeah, just feeling kind of low energy all of a sudden and kind of just sitting in the energies and sorting out what, you know, what that's all about and what's, what's going on. Um, and throughout, throughout this time, it's been, well, just really hearing, um, that the ancestors are there, the ancestors, the ancestors are there, the grandmothers are there, they are watching over, they are really in control, really pouring in energy, pouring in attention. And these are, again, these are our, our dearly departed. They are our, um, our goddesses, our, um, ancient star beings, um, beyond deities, um, more ancient than any, than any particular identity on earth. And, um, Yesterday, so yesterday was a Memorial Day in the United States, um, and did spend time going around and seeing seeing the ancestors, seeing grave sites, and and yeah, so much just support, so much of an energy of of smiling, smiling down on us. Um, those of us who are awakening, those of us who are becoming aware of all the toxic and negative and divisive ways of being that previous generations have been caught up in that I mean current generations are caught up in but 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 there's enough of us waking up to this that it's really causing a stir it's really causing a stir there's hope in the ethers there's attention raining down there's enablement raining down there's a sense of identity coming back in that has not been able to enter um the earth plane in generations um that has been blocked and that is now not the case um energy's coming back in again um so so much of so much of our lives we spend trying to figure out who we are right um and what our identity is and what it is not and we get sort of rocked around by the world rocked around by by all kinds of pressures in the world whether it's people our own age growing up whether it's parents and and other authority figures in life, um, you know, uh, schools and teachers and all these different pressures, excuse me, um, batter us around. And even when they're positive, sometimes they push us in directions that we haven't really chosen for ourselves, right? They may, it may not be a negative thing, um, but, you know, somebody 
um, you know, adults, adults like to project onto younger people, right? Adults like to, and, and, um, if you look in a past video, I talked about the difference between being adult and being mature. This is not a mature thing to do, uh, but adults tend to project on younger people, um, to see something in you, but what they're really seeing is themselves and they're really seeing their own, um, maybe their own desires, their own unfulfilled potentials and so you're going to do it right because they couldn't they didn't they haven't and there is a sense of that also with what's going on with the ancestors but it, it's not in a toxic way it's not in a forceful way of oh you will do this right you will be the you know star uh athlete you will be the uh, star, you know, musician, um, actor, uh, whatever it might be, right? Um, it's different than that. It's, it's more like handing on a baton, right? It's like there was a gap, a generational gap, where the ancestors were wanting the next generations to carry things forward and people didn't do it people got caught up in chasing material things chasing cars and houses and more cars and more houses and you know keeping up with the joneses type stuff um and just not paying attention to the world that they were in the process of building with all these things instead of building a world consciously instead the focus was on acquiring acquiring things acquiring things and it's not that things are bad it's not that wealth is bad it's not that riches are bad but the focus was on me acquiring things now for me now not on what is the world we're bringing in for the next generation. What is the world we're bringing in for the generation after that? And so we've come to a point in time where the world that has been brought in has become progressively ridiculous, <laughs> toxic, war warlike full of and, and stupid wars right like not even smart wars just dumb um just a lot of stupidity and um a lot of things starting to just run themselves because we've got systems in place but nobody's really paying attention it's just all just kind of there and it just kind of goes and we're just kind of beholden to it and of course the advent of computers digital computing has um, played into that as well right where we're very more and more comfortable with just handing over control to devices to algorithms and so on it's in this context okay and that's all important because it's in that that context that the ancestors are smiling down on some of us because some of us are waking up to all this and we're we're doing things differently. We're thinking about things differently. We're planning our lives differently. We're not... We're not afraid. We're not afraid to give up material things for a longer-term benefit, right? That's what it is. We're not afraid of that. Because, see, our ancestors went through a lot of crap. They went through a lot of hard times. A lot of our hard times have has been manufactured. A lot of our ancestors went through things that they didn't manufacture for themselves, right? They really had to endure things that were very much outside of, of their control. We have capacities now to develop a world that, that is much different. And some of us want to do that. And some of us are moving in those directions. And even though it might feel like the world as a whole is not going in those directions, energetically, that's not what's happening. 
energetically what's happening is those last vestiges of all that toxic way of being all those toxic ways of being and you know i've been talking especially about particular modes of femininity and masculinity masculinity and femininity and this is again not necessarily tied to gender identity not necessarily tied to you know uh, biology or sexuality okay these are energies and um, again there's a, a world that's been built that is very much been built on a sense of lack a sense of lack of a masculine that's afraid to lack and then therefore um, in a toxic way gives in to the feminine side a feminine side that in a toxic way uh, perceives lack perceives an inability to give an inability to provide and a fear of losing and it goes after the masculine to then um, put up walls around what what we already have to to keep to hold to clutch and the masculine again fearfully um, fearing to to lose the feminine um, agrees with this and goes along with it and then becomes this whole toxic and anyone who's anyone who's got toxic family knows what i'm talking about here okay um there's a certain type of father and mother figure that is very i mean extremely common extremely common and these are the energies right that have been um underwriting signing their names under all kinds of things in the world things like um you know wars abroad and <sighs> looking the other way when you know um people who are less fortunate minorities um different ethnicities different cultural groups that um you know tend to be maligned and blamed and scapegoated and all kinds of things um you know tend to look the other way when these things are happening and even agree with and in some cases even contributing to those things happening but just looking the other way is too much it's it's that's bad right that's toxic so that's what's that's what's been going on for generations and we're coming out of it and the ancestors are seeing it they're seeing those of us who are are shifting in these directions and they're they're here to support it and that's what's been coming through they're smiling down so feel that smile feel that joy in spite of what can feel like you know a lot of darkness in the world a lot of heaviness a lot of things happening that we wish wasn't happening um i'm like not saying that uh, those things are not to be concerned with right that we're not to do do work right that we're not to perform actions that we're not to make plans um these energies are in support of doing work making plans having actions that make a different world down the road and so yeah that's pretty much it for right now um look to the skies um look to the stars look to the moon when it's up and out look to the sun um know these energies know these energies in your own life receive those energies in your own life go out to family grave sites and it's again not to say that these people were all perfect in their earthly lives right understand though that there were struggles that were had and that there are positives buried in there and that those positives can be pulled out and reincorporated while we we leave the old junk behind and 
when we do that, see, it's not so much that the ancestors save us. It's more like we save them. That's what it's more like. So, yeah, that's good work to do. And in, in saving them, we definitely save ourselves too. In moving past their weaknesses, their failings, in shoring up all of that and doing better, we do a, we do a lot of work. All right, that's what we're involved in right now. That's what the world is going through. It's going to be a process and it's going to keep continuing to hang in there, hang on tight. Um, it's going to be a ride. All right. Don't get, uh, don't get downhearted. All right. That's it. Um, appreciate, uh, liking, sharing, subscribing these videos. Go back through, if there are things I'm talking about, um, go back through titles of old videos and there will be things that may pop out at you that I've already talked about and greater detail in other ways and uh again if you need some support on uh, your own awakening journey coming to higher consciousness um you just uh finding new corners of yourself that you didn't know were there and you're not sure what to do with them um feel free to reach out um the details of how to do that will be in the video description thanks much love and peace and sending you all the light you can stand right now.